Hello friends, this is Hedda. Today I have a super cute pen pal video for you guys, which I'm going to send to my friend Sun. But before we get crafting, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of this video, Notebook Therapy. They sent over a big box of brand new stuff and I really want to open it with you all before using it in this pen pal letter. First up is this adorable stamp, which is going to be perfect for pen pal letters. It says Tsuki Tea Party VIP Guest because these products are all part of the Tsuki Tea Party collection from Notebook Therapy. And this collection came out around the same time as Notebook Therapy's two year anniversary for their Tsuki products, which are their own line of products designed by their team. Next up we have a notebook and there are three different notebooks in the Tea Party collection which have all been sold out for a while but they're back in stock now. There's a pink one and a green one and a blue one. I asked for the so-called original size which is slightly smaller than A5 and it's the same size as my current bullet journal. I think that the green color of this is gorgeous and the linen cover is really smooth and pretty. The icon on the cover is a cup of matcha latte with some leaves and sparkles above it and I think it's just so cute and even if you don't like matcha I'm sure we can all appreciate the latte art and uh, I'm weak for sparkles so there's that. This notebook has 160 GSM dot grid paper. The A5 and B5 notebooks have 176 pages each while the original size has 128 pages. I noticed that the page markers are slightly different than my other notebook therapy notebooks so maybe this is a new thing that they're doing. I really like it. And then there's the item that I'll be using most in this video which is the washi tape set. I'll be honest, green and pink are not colors that I would have put together myself but when I saw the combination of these tapes kind of started to change my mind. It's kind of growing on me and I think I actually like it a lot. The set includes two sheets of washi stickers, one themed around matcha and one themed around strawberries. The Japanese writing on the green sheet says matcha, while the pink one says ichigo daifuku, which is a Japanese dessert. It's delicious. I really want to eat it right now. <laughs> it's like the better version of mochi because it has fresh strawberries and sometimes whipped cream inside instead of red bean paste. And you can even get it with ice cream. Okay, focus. Um, the set contains eight rolls where six of them are washi tape, one of them is a roll of stamp washi stickers, and one is a roll of circle washi stickers. I really like the variety of the tapes. I think it's fun to have so many different sizes and styles. The gilded details are really beautiful, of course, but I also really like that Notebook Therapy always includes at least one tape that isn't gilded, which is easy to use in combination with the other tapes. And this one has several designs on one roll, so it's very versatile instead of having like five different rolls of tape. They're all in one. I think this is really clever. There are seven different stamps on the stamp tape, and one detail that I really appreciate is that the roll of circle stickers has 18 different stickers. That's a lot. I'll post a picture from my journal over on my Instagram where I swatch all the tapes, so go follow me there if you aren't already. Lastly, we have Notebook Therapy's latest kind of product, which is a tote bag. They started making tote bags with the Moonflower Edition earlier this year, and I really, really like this bag. It has a pocket with a zipper on the inside, which I think is really great. And this one even comes with an extra little pouch. For the record, I've washed my Moonflower tote bag in the washer once and it handled it very well. It got a bit dirty from coming with me to all the markets I went to, so I had to give it a good wash. Anyway, it's a bit hard to show the tote bag on camera here, but you get the idea. Once again, thank you so much to Notebook Therapy for sending these products over. If you ever want to make a purchase yourself, you get 10% off by using my affiliate code MUCHIBUJO10 and I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And now let's use some of the stuff to make a pen pal letter for Sun. This is definitely a theme that I haven't done before when it comes to pen pal letters or even any kind of creative projects, so I'm very excited. Sun was actually one of the first people that I got to know when I started bullet journaling. She was very welcoming from the beginning. She had been journaling for quite some time already, I think, and I definitely looked up to her a lot when I first got started. I mean, I still do, she's a wonderful person. 
Coincidentally, Sun is the reason why I made a purchase from Notebook Therapy the first time because she really loves whales and ocean themes and Notebook Therapy had just released the Gentle Giant Notebook, I think in the spring of 2020. So I bought her one of those and that was my very first experience with Notebook Therapy and kind of led me down the road to be able to now work with them on videos like this. So. Yeah, life is strange sometimes. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the letter. I had really no idea how I wanted the letter to look when I got started. It, I hadn't even opened the washi tapes before filming this video, as you saw. So I was kind of just winging it. I decided to not cut out any of the kind of test layouts that I did throughout this entire process because you guys say that you like to watch my process of like testing placements for papers and then deciding on something else for example so that's what I did in this video I haven't cut out anything other than times when my hands aren't in the picture or I'm just not doing anything so yeah I've just sped it up and you're seeing everything that I went through while making this letter I lettered Sun with a green Tombow Dual brush pen. It kind of looks like I wrote Sun and not Sun, but oh well. I will write Sun's real and full name and her address in the little frame in the middle of the envelope. And then I'll write my own address and name on the back of the envelope in case there is a problem. As you can see, I am just layering tons of washi tape and stickers on this envelope. I really enjoy the thin washi tape because you can just kind of place it in areas where it seems like it needs a little bit more, if that makes sense. And then the last thing that I did was to go in with a black pen and just draw some branches and some sparkles and just kind of tie it all together because I always feel like it's missing something if I don't go in with a pen. And the final touch to this envelope is the Tea Party VIP guest stamp from Notebook Therapy. I couldn't really find a place for it on the front, so I put it on the back. And now we can get started on the contents. So I decided to use one of these folded cards that you've seen me use in other pen pal videos, but instead of just having it open and have all the contents sit on the inside, I decided to make an extra page, if that makes sense. So I just used a piece of cardstock and then I first tried using washi tape to keep it together, but it didn't really stick well enough, like the tape wasn't really strong enough to hold it in place. So I ended up using just a regular see-through scotch tape afterwards which worked a lot better and also it looked nicer because it didn't take any attention and I did fill this with a lot afterwards so I definitely think that it was the right solution for this little project so yeah just went in with that tape and then I used my corner rounder to make the corners round because I don't know it just looks nicer then I figured out what I would put in there. I decided to make two washi sample cards for Sun because I know that she really wanted to try the matcha ichigo tea party washi tapes and I couldn't fit all of them on one so I made two. Although I would love to make like really chunky washi tape samples for my pen pals, my experience is that it's actually better to make them a bit thinner, like not put too much washi tape on there because your letters get really chunky. Uh, this one ended up getting too chunky so I actually had to remove some stuff, you'll see later. But yeah, just thinner washi samples. They're samples after all, your pen pal can use them and then maybe they'll buy their own or you can send them more samples in the future. So here you're basically just seeing me add all of the washi tapes where I could fit them. I was really hoping that I wouldn't end up not being able to fit all of them. One thing that I forgot to add was the little circle washi stickers. So I ended up adding those after filming, just like putting some in there because I want Son to have some of those too. This really cute 
loops thread or yarn, I'm not really sure what it is, is something that my pen pal Sasha uses in a lot of her pen pal letters. So I have saved all of that, everything that she has wrapped my pen pal letters with I've saved and they worked really well for these washi sample cards. I really love reusing stuff like this. As you know, <laughs> I always talk about reusing stuff from pen pal letters. So here I am just decorating the front of the card using the same washi tapes and the paper that I originally ripped for the envelope. I thought I could use those for the card so that I don't waste them and just throw them away. Um, I didn't really have big ideas for this either, but I decided to write a little message to San and I'm using the same stickers. The stickers are from Peppercut Studio, by the way, the little matcha stickers. It's Julianne Doodle's sticker shop and I can really recommend it. I love her stickers and I'm really excited to use her matcha stickers for this pen pal letter because I've had them for a long time and I just haven't had a good opportunity to use them, but now I do because this theme is literally perfect. So instead of just having this front of the card be just decorative, I wrote a little message for Sun and I wrote my strong, intelligent, generous, beautiful friend because I want Sun to know that I really appreciate her and our friendship, it's very important to me and she's a very good listener and it's been really good to have her during the past years especially you know during covid and difficult things that happens in life but of course we are not done yet now i am just cutting the paper that i'm using for the letter i just rip out pages from a moleskin dot grid notebook because I don't really have a notepad with thin paper that is good for writing letters right now so I use paper from a moleskin notebook I know I'm not treating it very well but I'm honestly not using it for anything else so I'd rather use the paper and I really like the paper and it's great for writing letters so yeah and then I am using pink and green on the inside to match the matcha ichigo theme. So I'm just making little pockets and kind of loops, I guess, to fit things in and through. And then I am decorating them with washi tape and just writing what is in there. I tried to mix and match with the green and pink and just kind of have fun with the colors because they are very bright, both of them, and like I said before, pink and green is not really colors that I've been mixing a lot in the past. I definitely had to get used to it, but I really like how they look together now. So yeah, just combine some different paper, some post-it notes even, to make little pockets, and I think in the end it turned out quite nice and I like the color combinations now. I decided to go full on Japanese theme and I wrote the contents in Japanese as well. My handwriting is really bad right now, so please don't come for me. Also, I know that we call it washi tape, but I never really saw it advertised as washi tape in Japan. It always said masking tape. So I'm not sure if they actually say washi tape in Japan or not. If I have any Japanese viewers, maybe you can enlighten us. <laughs> I also put in some of the new stickers from my shop to gift to Sun because I want her to have some of my stickers and she's always been my biggest supporter for my shop and my YouTube channel. I jokingly call her my manager because <laughs> she's helped me out a lot and I always ask her for advice if I'm unsure about something. I also put in this green tea just because of the theme but in the end I had to take it out because the letter got too chunky. <laughs> I decided to use some of this nice watercolor paper and use some of my stamps. So 
You can't really share stamps in the way that you can share washi tape, but I thought that if I stamped on some nice paper, then maybe Sun can use those in her journal or in a pen pal letter or something like that. So I put in some of my Japanese stamps. I mean, they are from AliExpress, so they're probably not Japanese. They're probably made in China, but as far as I can tell, the Japanese makes sense. <laughs> So I have some like cafe receipts and um, a metro ticket. So I just think these stamps are really fun. And then of course I used the notebook therapy stamp again. I think that it turned out really cute. I hope that Sun likes it. And then I'm just filling the pockets with labels and some scrapbooking paper and more stickers. And uh, yeah, just making the whole letter come together with some extra gifts. You can see me really struggling trying to fit the T in with the letter, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it didn't work in the end. I didn't decorate the actual letter very much. I just used some washi tape so that I would have lots of room to write because I know that when I write to Sun I always want to write a lot so instead of having like a million sheets I uh, just decorated them minimally so I have lots of room for writing. Then it was time to uh, attempt to fit it into the envelope. I did some final decorations and then I used some of the same yarn that I used for the washi tape samples to attempt to wrap the card a little bit so that it would stay together. I put it into the envelope and uh, I couldn't close it. So sadly I had to take the tea out and when I did that it fit nicely. So yeah, in the end it wasn't a problem. But sadly, San won't get the tea, but it's okay. She has so much tea already because she drinks more tea than any person I've ever known. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to click the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Next week, I am uploading my October plan with me for my bullet journal, and I'm very excited about it. I've worked very hard. It took forever. <laughs> Other than that, please check out my sticker shop. I just did a big shop update with some new products, so maybe you can find something that you like there. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, then make sure you go do that because I post lots of pictures of my bullet journal and my pen pal letters and all of that. And lastly, once again, thank you so much to Notebook Therapy for sponsoring this video. Remember that you can get 10% off using my affiliate code MochiBujo10 if you ever want to make a purchase. And other than that, I hope that you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!